Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, Christian. How are you, Mauricio? Fine, thanks. And Very you? Good. I'm good. I'm How pretty good. Day? Actually, it was pretty busy. A lot of meetings uh, and at uh, work, and but it was good. It was busy, but good. So you have a. Uh... More classes during the day or, or preparing, I don't know, or, or, or during the day, what, what did you do? I, I'm actually, I work in a call center. So, ah, okay. so I'm a supervisor there for, I got a team for uh, 15 people. So I got to be in like in meetings and checking with them, coachings, one-on-ones. Teams, uh, meetings as well with my with the clients that we have, the, um, with my boss, so all the things. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's very busy your day too. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It so, is. You know, I don't know. The call center here are very. Uh, I don't know how do you say that. There, it's a, a like exponential develop. Yep. I'll, I mean, like, like like popular ah uh -huh, like popular yeah yep yeah they are they are nowadays uh there's a lot of call centers but for example here in in santa tecla we have uh telus we have uh, teleperformance we have uh i think those are the two we have here but then in san salvador we have concentrics we have sykes we have uh another teleperformance as well uh and there's a lot of more that I don't know, but there's a bunch of, of tele uh, calls in the ring. That's a very big, a big uh, call center. Yeah, the call center industry, it's, it's very big now. There's like many, many, many uh, call centers now. And there's a lot of people that they have created their careers. I mean, there's people that they have become uh, managers, directors, uh, by presidents. Or, well, interesting. Or yeah. another, put the uh, leave of the call center and put uh, our call center smaller, a smaller call center, and, and give a, a, a service at, at, I don't know how do you say, cuentas, more cuentas más pequeña. Uh, accounts, small, like a smaller um, accounts. Um, yeah. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> yes, the call center industry is very good. Um, as well, that for the people that speak English, you have given to us like a lot of opportunities for we can get a good salary and we can grow and I mean learn a lot of things. So it's it's good. You know how many people work in, in call center? Wow, thousands, but thousands of people. Just for example, where I work, that I work here in, in Telus, uh, I think that there's like more than, I don't know if it's 3,000 people because we have the building here in Plaza Merliot and there's another building there in, in Las Cascadas, in Soho. So the big building, uh, that's for Telus. So there's a lot of people there. And who is the bigger? What is the biggest? Site? The biggest. Um, I think that it might be teleperformance because there's like, uh, I think it's, they have like five buildings here in El Salvador. So that's huge. Yeah, it's very good, big. So it's good. It is. And by the way, that's actually my first job. I started there seven years ago uh, yeah. and I'm still there. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. You can you can develop a career there though. Yep. Yep. Definitely. So yeah, it's very good. When I was older, I will work there. <laughs> <laughs> that was my job. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason I'm I am learning English. <laughs> No, I mean it's a it's a very good opportunity. If, if you if you really like the things, then you can you can grow there. There's a lot of opportunities. So definitely, it's a 
it's kind of complicated because I'm not I'm not gonna lie. Uh, taking calls, it's it's kind of tough. It's uh, complicated. Uh, sometimes you get gel. You know what is gel? You know yeah. what the meaning of gel? Yep. Exactly. What? So, e gritar. Ah, ah, okay, yeah. yeah. So sometimes you get yelled on the phone and the people screaming and they're like saying bad words to you. Uh, and it's complicated sometimes, but you just need to learn how to handle those things and just move on. At the end of the day, it's not something with you. It's yeah, just yeah. for the company, right? So but. yeah, I understand. I understand that because my well, my son, mm -hmm. my son work in in a in a in a in a call center. Oh really? Finished his when he finishes his school, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, told me that that he has the account was the in the United States from from a. I don't know, it's Spirit or it's a telephone. No, oh, yeah. The Sprint, I think it is. He has, and he know that he has to 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 know how how to talk at the other people because yeah, is 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 I the total either. So it's uh -huh. yeah, definitely very complex. <laughs> Something that is very important that you need there. It's patient. Yeah, you need patient. You need to learn how to listen to the people, try to help people, but it's not always easy. It's <laughs> it's very complicated sometimes. But client, how is that service? Client service. I don't know. It's uh, customer service. Uh -huh. Customer service. Yes, customer service. Uh -huh. But he he enjoy more when when he when his account was selling. Oh, uh, selling. and that's better because you get more money. Yeah, uh -huh. the commissions and that better. Yeah, there's a lot of things in the culture, and if you want to try some time, you can do it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we have almost everybody here. So good evening, everybody. How are you? Good evening. I'm fine, thank you. Very good. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Hi, good, good evening. evening. Good nice. evening. Good evening. Did you did you listen to the conversation we were having about call centers? Yes. 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 I did. It's complicated call centers, but they're good. They give us a job. <laughs> that's where that that's the goal for all of us. Work <laughs> <laughs> No, I think you're, you're going to get better opportunities there in your in your current job because you're learning English. That's going to give you more opportunities there. So, but in the case you want to try, call centers are there. No, you no. have to, you have to, you have to, to, you have a good level in your English. Listening, and writing, I don't know, but at least uh, talking and listening, it's, you have to be a high level in, in English, no? Uh, you have to, it depends on the accounts. There are accounts that you can be like an intermediate, uh, high intermediate or advanced. It depends uh, because there are some accounts that they require a lot, like a very good English, but there's another ones that not so much. So it's interesting. It's interesting. <laughs> All right. So welcome everybody to, or this is our ninth, a class. So thank you very much again for being here. Uh, we're going to start. Do you remember what we saw uh, yesterday? What was the topic we saw yesterday? Present, present perfect. perfect. Present perfect, exactly. And what do we use the present perfect for? What do we if use when it for? You, hmm? When you start and continues with the activity. Exactly. You started in the past. In the past, yes. And you continue in the present. Exactly. That's correct. So uh, we're going to start with uh, an activity that I had actually for, for yesterday. But we're going to do it today. Uh, we're going to practice conversations uh, for present perfect. So 
we can uh, practice the present perfect. Uh, let me see. Mm, yeah, yep, ah, this was the one. All right, so I'm gonna uh, show you some cards. Let me, where is this? Okay, let me share my screen. Mm -hmm. this one? So uh, you will see here four cards where you have questions uh, in present perfect. So uh, something that I, I didn't mention the last time, but I, I'm just gonna uh, mention it right now. When, most of the time when we use the present perfect, we use this word here, ever. So ever, it's actually to say like um, alguna vez. So on this one, for example, uh, the question is, have you ever been abroad? Alguna vez has salido fuera del país. So uh, we, we're gonna use this, this uh, word like a lot here to say that. Uh, have you ever, have you ever been? Have you ever cooked? Have you ever um, eaten? Have you ever tried? In order to ask like if, if in, in, in your life, alguna vez, you have tried, you have done, you have, have that experienced. Okay, so I want you to choose uh, one of these cards. Uh, and what we are going to do, uh, it's if you don't want to copy, uh, you can either take a picture with your cell phone or you can uh, screen it if you're in your cell phone uh, receiving the class. Uh, you can make like a screen capture so you can have it. And you're going to choose one of those cards. And what we are going to do is this. Uh, we're going to make groups. Um, maybe four groups, um, four. And what you're going to do is that you're going to ask this question. You're going to choose one of the persons that is going to be in your group. And you're going to ask, for example, let's say in my group, we have Mauricio, Irby, and Rafael. So I'll choose the car, for example, this one. And I'm going to say, uh, for example, uh, Mauricio, have you ever seen a ghost? And then Mauricio start to, to uh, answer the question like, uh, yes, I have, blah, 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 and this and this. And then I can make the, the second question, do you believe in God? And then we talk about it like, yes, I believe in God. I have seen some of them in my house. Or no, I don't believe in ghosts. They think that's something that is not true. And give your opinions, right? And then the other person asks to the other person, and that's how you make the conversation and you practice the have you ever. Uh, something I think that I didn't mention as well, and just as a refresher, uh, whenever you answered, uh, for example, if for these yes, no questions, when you answer, uh, have you ever been abroad? You're gonna ask either, you're gonna answer, I'm sorry, either yes, I have, or no, I haven't. And then you provide more information, okay? The same happened with the yes, no questions. You provide extra information. Uh, where have you been? Oh, I have been in this place for this time. And you provide extra information, okay? So do you have questions about this activity right now? No? No. Yes? What is the abroad? Abroad, it's when you go out of your country. Out? Mm -hmm. another, another country? Yes, another country. Es como decir el extranjero. Okay, thank you. Sure. Okay, so let's make the groups. Uh, right now, choose... Let me make the groups here. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see, we're gonna make it at least for four, three or four participants. And let's join. So click there, uh, hit the join bottom and start joining your groups.
So Walter, Maria, and Vanessa. Uh, Vanessa, hit the joint button. Okay, sure. good evening. Good evening. Yo voy a elegir. Have you Please. ever a horse? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to choose. Have you ever ridden a horse? Okay. Have you ever ridden a horse, Sofia? Bueno, la disculpa, no. La del caso. I never. I never. Ah, really. Vamos a hacer la espera. Voy a empezar a hablar. I think it's no. Sport. I haven't. No, I haven't. En las últimas horas de caso de suitas. Me ha gustado que no hubiéramos tenido problemas. Another, ¿Hay alguien escuchando un audio? A lo que tratamos de hacer, ¿no? Entonces. Ya, audio. Ok. No, ok. Y con ayuda, I guess. Have a trip for riding a horse. And I want to go. And have uh, snakes, I guess, but I don't like the snakes. I don't like the tacuacines. I don't like nothing of this. Okay. <laughs> and you, Yolanda, have you ever ridden a horse, a uh, elephant? No. No, I, I haven't. I haven't. <laughs> no, no, I haven't. No. Motor, motor no. How about Mauricio? <laughs> well, in, well, in uh, well I, I, yes, I, I have a really horse. Uh, I really enjoy it. Yeah. I like, I like it a lot. When I was, when I was uh, younger, I have uh, my, my grandmother. Has a, had. In, has a farm in her farm. Had. Uh, has a, has a, a horses. And uh, I enjoy to, to ride in. Uh, uh, it's, it's nice. Yeah, I, when, I was, when I was younger, I enjoy it a lot. And you to, can, and to, really. And, uh, excuse me? Of course. And you uh -huh. can really a horse with horse. with i don't know how do you say uh, montura uh, with montura and without uh, montura <laughs> uh, a, a pelo a, 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 a hair uh -huh. <laughs> how do you say a, a pelo a hair uh, 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 sure. <laughs> or i don't know how do you say the the that let me let me look for it because i'm, I'm montura. Sure. how do you say montura in it says mount Let's see. Mount. Mount. Yes, but I'm not like sure if that's mount. the one. Like mountain, but let me check. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's uh, it's actually a horse stack. Horse stack? Yes, horse stack. Horse where? Mm -hmm. With yes. horse stack and without horse stack. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. and, uh, People say that really it's difficult. No, it's easy. It's not. It's not. It's not difficult. It's very easy. Uh, you don't have to to to. Oh. How do I, I, I feel the soul, but not the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking about ghost right now? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes, you are one of them. <laughs> do you do you believe in ghost? All of you. Yes? No. 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 no I haven't. No. Okay. no. okay. Have you ever had no, like no. a paranormal um like a paranormal activity sometimes or or maybe feel something in your house yes. or any place? You do? 
Yes. But I can tell you in English. <laughs> you can try. <laughs> este será una historia para otro episodio. <laughs> <laughs> What about you, Rafael? Have you ever had any experience like that? Uh, yes, but only uh, ruidos, noise, Noises. only noise, okay. noises. Yes, uh, but I don't believe in ghost. I believe in soul. Okay. All right. <laughs> that yes. makes more sense. <laughs> I, 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 yes, I think the the souls, souls, souls. Uh -huh. uh, is around R is a, is R are around before after die and before to live to <laughs> help to to the hell he hell or heaven <laughs> heaven 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 <laughs> yes <Okay. laughs> heaven okay yeah I for me um. I'm not saying like a hundred percent that I believe, but I I like leave a room for maybe. But the only thing that I have like experienced so far, it's like something called uh, I'm not sure if the, if it's correct in English, but it's like a sleeping paralysis, like la paralysis del sueño. That is like when you're when you're sleeping, okay. and and then you are like you feel like you're awake. And you want to get up or you want to speak, but you can't. Mm -hmm. And you're like just making the movement and you can't do it. So that's have you ever feel that? Yeah. Many times. <laughs> yes. Many times. But I have read that it's something like maybe uh things in your brain sometimes, or stress, or maybe you are too tired, and those things happen. But when you are there, you feel like there's the evil like like putting up a, a heavy thing inside of you like well, okay i can get up <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah it, it, it's crazy but that i think that's the only thing that i have ever uh felt in my life okay yeah <laughs> is the same when you separate the body with the soul 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 like with the soul yes when you when you uh, when you sleep mm -hmm. and you feel that ghost ghost in um, que siente que siente que se cae en el vacío yeah <laughs> i have felt that too yeah <laughs> yes And actually, I, I don't know why, but when I was like younger, like when I had like, when I was like 13, I guess, or, or less, every night when I was, <laughs> I, when I went to sleep, I put my head in the pillow and then I felt like I was like drowning, like in the ocean. And I was like going down and going down and like, oh my God, I'm dying or what? <laughs> <I> see <it. laughs> yeah, that, that's uh -huh. it, it's a really uh, yeah. nice experience. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. Like there are many things that we don't know, but it's interesting to talk about it. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, continue practicing. I will go to another group. Okay, thank okay. you. Sure. Sure. <laughs> Hi. Um, Hi. For example, the first, have you ever been a, a bar? And your response. The one, the number one, the next. Okay. Uh, uh, and, and what is the question that you you have chosen? Good. No, the, for example, is a is a, a little is, is statement the uh, the teacher gives. For example, uh, you you you, I take a picture. I, I don't took. know if you took I a picture. Uh -huh. I don't know if you see the my cell phone. Okay, I, uh, Lisa. Uh, I think that I have the picture too. Yes, 
this, about this the question. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. And, and what is the question uh, of for, 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 for example? Four? For example, is a uh, read the, the number one. How you ever been abroad? Abroad. Uh -huh. And you respond. Okay. okay. Abroad so, is like uh, when travel. Exactly. Or visit uh, yes. another country. Okay, so Elvis, if you want, yes. you can ask the question to, to Alexander. Okay, have you ever abroad to United States? No, have you ever been abroad? Have you ever been abroad? Yes, I have. Uh, no, I, I have been in other countries like okay. Honduras. Stop, stop there, Alexander. So when he said, I have been in other countries, then you can ask Elvis, where have you been? So then Alexander say, oh, I have been here and here and here. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes, okay. I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Where, where have you been? Good. I have been in some countries like Dominican Republic and Honduras and, and, and Costa Rica. Yeah, Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. uh, Which I have continue. I have been only Guatemala. Good. Guatemala I have never good. been abroad. <laughs> I have never been abroad. Yeah, I have I have never been abroad. I have always because just visited El Salvador. <laughs> the teacher is lying. <laughs> no, no, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I wish, I wish I had, but not. I have never been abroad. I hope I would like to visit maybe, I don't know, I would like to go to Disneyland. That's something that I have ever always uh, wanted. But, only that? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> at least. <laughs> yeah, at least, exactly. <laughs> at least. <laughs> All right, continue then. Have you ever fun? Okay. Good. Okay. Um, hello, teacher. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> continue, Vanessa. Continue. Uh, I say to I I only visited. I have uh, the I have only visited, visited. Mm -hmm. only visited one is one or is one country one... Was it? no 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 eh, the, la puerta del diablo una oh. vez yes I have visited only I have visited one you... Once, uh -huh. una vez, yes, once. Yes, mm -hmm. once. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's all. <laughs> I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, sorry. I have very bad internet. No worries. So, but do you have the questions, Monica? I, I don't know, I was, we was talking about the, if we went, if have, if we have been in Planet del Rendero, creo. Okay. I don't know if, if the good. Yeah, the that's good a good question. Question? Yeah. Let, let me bring one for all of you so you can uh, oh. make a conversation here. Have you ever seen a ghost? You know what is a no. ghost? Yeah, Vanessa was asking that. So okay. we, we was talking about that. Okay, and have you? Yeah, I have been in Planet de Rendero for many times when I was a child. It was, you know, the traditional, uh, I don't know who say, in the Saturday, uh -huh. and that it was very normal. Go, went to the Planet de Rendero. Uh -huh. 
Uh -huh. I spend the time in planes de rendero, and the, you know, the traditional that the Salvadorians do. Okay. The, and that you know, it's it pupusas. Oh, it pupusas. Okay, very good. Yeah. But 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 what about ghost? You know what is a ghost? Yeah, fantasmas. Uh huh. And have you seen a ghost there in Plan del Rendero? You know, in Plan del Rendero, <laughs> but uh, we are talking about that. And in my case, I believe in ghosts, but like I be saying that my parents are very, very religious. So okay. it's not like fantasma. It's, it's like, shows. I don't know who say, demonios. I don't know who say that. Uh, demons. Demons, yeah. Okay. Uh, I believe more in, in, in demons okay. that are very bad, bad, bad spiritus. Uh -huh. Spirits. Spirits. Mm. Spirit, very bad spirits. Okay. I believe in that. And I been having no bad, bad experiences, but I heard, you know, very, very weird. And uh, high stories. My my father, it's pastor the of the church. Okay. So he have very very <laughs> terroríficas. I don't know. Like terrifying. Terrifying is his story. So okay. I believe it, but I didn't <laughs> have the experiences to. Okay. So something like like mm. that. <laughs> and what right. about you? Well, actually, uh, I was telling to the other groups that um, I have never had it, like, I think once, but the most, like, uh, paranormal thing that I have ever uh, experienced is, like, uh, like is, I don't know if that's a correct, but, like, sleeping paralysis, la paralysis del sueño, that it's when you're sleeping, but then you feel like you are awake, but you can't move. I mean, you're just still like lay down there in your bed, but you can speak, you can move, and you try to do the movement, but you can't. So that's the only thing that I have ever felt. It's bad. It's uh, it's weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but it's, I, it's it's horrible. Did yeah, this is it's horrible. I think it's like a sleeping paralysis. I'm not sure if that's a correct name, but uh, that's how it will be translated, like literally, paralysis del sueño. Sleeping paralysis. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's the only thing. Yeah, but, paralysis. But I, I believe that maybe there, there might be ghosts there. Casparin. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to go back to the main room. So let's go there. So let's click on there and join to the main group. All right, so let's go into matter now. Let me share my screen here with you so you can see it. Uh, uh, uh. There it is. Okay. All right, so <coughs> since, since we have already... <coughs> Since we so have a... I'm sorry. Um, um, okay. So let's uh, since we were speaking now and 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 doing the and practicing actually the the present perfect. Now we're gonna make the main topic that was present uh, simple past versus present perfect. So what we are going to do now is that we are going to join the two uh, tenses in order to create conversations, to talk. And this is what we use it for. Uh, we use the simple past along with the present perfect in order to provide more information about an event that was completed in the past. So, uh, we were saying yesterday that the present perfect is an activity or an action that happens in the past and continues in the present. So 
Now, what we are going to do is we're going to say and talk about those things, talk about those activities, but we're going to provide more information using the simple past. And for example, we have here, uh, have you ever eaten snails? And then you answer using the present perfect. Yes, I have. So that's something that started in the past and continues in the present? Yes or no? What do you think? Why are we using the simple past here? I'm sorry, the present perfect here. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. But why are we using the present perfect? What do you think? It. Eaten, eaten is uh, perfect. Then you are using that in perfect and present perfect. Exactly, we're using the present perfect, but why? Because you because want to get more information. Because, the past. because we're going to use it, uh, that information, but we said that we talk about present perfect for activities we did in the past and continues in the present. But here we're saying, have you ever eaten snails? Alguna vez ha comido eh, eh, caracoles. Caracoles, thank you. <laughs> so snail. No, it's snail. Snail is a piente. No, that's snake. Ah, it's snake. Uh -huh. Sorry. The so snails is caracol. So ah. alguna vez ha comido caracol. And then say, yes, I have. Pero comió una vez. So why are we using the present perfect? Because you don't know is in the future you you uh, eat again. That's correct, and also because you still living, so your life is not completed. So in the future you may try again, nails again. So the period hasn't ended. Se los probó una vez hace cinco diez años. And you can try them again, maybe five years later. So it started in the past and continues in the present until we die. So that's what we're using the present perfect here. And after we say that and we answer, then we provide extra information. And there's when we use the simple past. And as you see here, have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I tried them last month. So then here, it's when you use the simple past. And you say, yes, I tried them, I, eat, I ate them, I complete that action, that action is completed, I did it last month. And you can provide extra information as well, but I tried them in any restaurant, I tried them with my family, I tried them when I was in Bangkok, whatever. And then you can continue the conversation now using the simple past. And you ask the other question, did you like them? No, I didn't. Oh yes, I did. So this is what we use the simple past with the present perfect. We ask the question in present perfect, and then we continue asking more information using the simple past. So we can create a conversation and we can like dig more and get to know more the person or get to know, I mean, sorry, get more information that we are looking for, all right? And let's see, okay, here. So I have here a conversation. Um, let's see who wants to read it. I. Okay, go. Okay. Um, I went to the USA last year. USA. I visited uh, USA. Uh -huh. uh, sorry. I went to the USA last year. Uh -huh. I visited LA and Chicago. Have you ever been there? Uh, I continue to read? Yes, continue. Okay. Um, yes. I went to the USA a few years ago. Did you like it? Yes. 
I didn't go to the same place. Uh, sorry, sir. I didn't go to the same places you visited. I went to New York. I went to New York. Oh, I didn't go there. Uh, I I like to see them, to see. Did you go there with some friends? Yes. They took me everywhere. Uh, how did you met them? I met them. I met them here at college. Uh, they spent a year in a town, and we were in the same classes. Class. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen them since I left New York. Uh, uh, we have mm -hmm. children or children. Uh, chat. We we've chat chatted. We a have few, chat. Few times. We have chat a few times, but we haven't organized organized anything. Organized. Organized anything. Thank you, Mauricio. So if we see here in this conversation, um, we start with a present perfect question. And the person is talking about his or her experience when he or she was in the United States. And so he's using the past, the simple past. Then it asks a question in present perfect. Have you ever been there? Yes. I went to the US a few years ago. Here we can add, yes, I have. And then you add the, the simple past in order to provide extra information about that question in the present perfect. And then it continue asking more questions now in past. Did you like it? Yes, but I didn't go to the same places you visited. I went to New York. Oh, I didn't go there and continues in past. And then over here, here, it starts again now in present perfect. I haven't seen them since I left New York. We have chat, we've chatted a few times, but we haven't organized anything. So still in the past, in the, in the, in the, in the, I'm sorry, it's still in the past, but continues in the present because they might get together again and uh, get along, go to a party, organize something, and do anything. So this, is, this conversation is just for you can see it in context, how you can use the simple past using the present perfect. So, Sir, do you, yes? But I don't, know, I don't understand the answer uh -huh. in the letter A, mm -hmm. because they talk about uh, uh, A, A, uh, visited Los Angeles and Chicago. Mm -hmm. And the other is, uh, I visited USA a few years ago. Did you like it? I think USA. But uh, letter A is, yes, I didn't go to the same places you visited. Mm -hmm. say, but B, I don't know <laughs> places visit. What places visit? Uh, but the thing I, is I here. So the first person says, I went to the US last year and mm -hmm. I visited LA and Chicago. Uh -huh. And then the other person, uh, when, when he got the question, have you ever been there? He said, yes, I went to the US a few years ago. And then it asked, did you like it? Uh, it asked to the, to the same person, to the first person, like if he likes the USA and the places that he visit. I don't know if that makes sense. Kind of. Well, it's okay. <laughs> it's an extra say, but I don't yeah. understand the, the answer. <laughs> yeah, the, the answer is, is kind of weird. Uh, but the main point is this, like you, you can uh, like get how it's make when you use the present perfect and then you provide questions and answers in simple path. All right. So any questions so far regarding the topic, how to use it? Yes, no? Questions? No? Cheated, okay. what's the meaning of cheated? Or cheated, cheat, cheated, cheat. This one, chatted? Yeah, yeah, chat. Like chat. Chat, uh -huh. what does like, that mean? It, chat, it's like when you go to, for example, in WhatsApp, uh -huh. and you send a text message. So then you're chatting. 
Ah, okay. Uh -huh. ah, okay. There it comes chatear. Ah, yeah, está chateando. Exactly. Uh -huh. okay. uh -huh. So chat is a conversation online. Okay. Uh -huh. Very good. All right. So here we have another example. I think this is this is like not too too weird and with many with less words. So on this one, we have student one asking, have you ever been to China? The other person uh, provides the answer, yes, I have. And then it starts asking questions in the simple past in order to provide more information. So let's make uh, a practice here. Let's see, let's do uh, Yolanda, you're gonna be a student one and Irving, you're gonna be student two. Okay. okay. Have you ever been okay. to China? Yes, I have. When did you go there? I went there um, on 2005. Which cities did you visit? I visited um, the center of Shanghai. It was very interesting. I visited Beijing and Shanghai. Very good. Excellent. That's great. Okay, let's do another one. Sofia and Crisia. How do you ever <laughs> So student one, Sofia, and student two, Crisia. Okay. How do you ever being to China? Yes, I have. When did you go there? I went there in 2005. Which city did you visit? I visited Beijing and Shanghai. Very good. Excellent. All right. Now, uh, Vanessa and Francisco. But we're going to change something. Uh, I need you to say, instead of China, say any other country you want. So, Vanessa, you do number one. So, choose okay. any country. Sure. Ask to Francisco. Okay. Okay. Uh, Francisco, have you ever been to Brazil? Francisco? <laughs> no, I haven't. When did you go there? Ah, no, no, he said no, no. you haven't. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um, have you ever been to to Guatemala? <laughs> I don't know. Yes, I have. Oh, when did you go there? I went, I went there in 2001. Which, which cities did you visit? I visited, I visited um, Antigua, Guatemala. Okay, thank you. Very good, excellent. Now let's see uh, Alexander and Elvis. Have you ever been to Costa Rica? No, I haven't. Um, have you ever been to Guatemala? Yes, I yes I have. When did you go there? I went there two years ago. Good. Which city did you visit? Santenango. Excellent. Exactly. Okay. Great. Very good. Excellent. Now, Luis and Maria. Uh, 
have you ever been to um, Honduras? Uh, no, I haven't. Okay. Uh, country did you visit? I, I went to Guatemala. Guatemala. When did you go there? When did you go there? Hmm? Uh, I went there in 2015. Okay, which city did you visit? I visited in uh, So Aurora. Su. Okay. Su, 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 su Aurora. Oh, uh, Aurora Su, I'm sorry. Aurora Su. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Very good. Okay. All right. Let's do one more. Mauricio and Sofia. Okay. Have you ever been in? Been to. Uh, have you ever been in been to Honduras? Have you Sophie? ever been to? Have you ever been to Honduras, mm -hmm. Sofia? Yes, I have. Ah, uh, when did you go there? I went there the last year. Uh, very nice. Which city did you visit? Visit. <laughs> I visited say me one <laughs> San Pedro Sula San Pedro Ah San Pedro <laughs> O Tegucigalpa de otra es Tegucigalpa Tegu Tegu All right Very good Excellent Okay so that's, that's actually how you use it. Uh, that's how you ask for extra information with your um, with the present perfect and the simple past. And we have the last thing, uh, these last eight minutes, uh, we're gonna talk again. And, but in this case, we're gonna use the same like pattern for the conversation we had, but we're gonna do it with these topics. So for example, we have number one, we have buy a car. So we're gonna make the question, the first question. How, how will be the first question? Have you ever bought a new car? Excellent, that's correct. Have you ever bought a new car? And then you continue asking the question. So let me do an example here. Um, let's see, Irvin, have you ever bought a new car? No, I haven't bought a new card. Okay. Uh, what about, have you ever um, played soccer? Yes, I have played soccer. Okay. When did you play soccer? When I was uh, a teenager. Okay. Uh, what was the name of your team, of your soccer team? Uh, it was... Uh... Uh, Bible's book name uh, it's in Galatas I think okay <laughs> Galatas football club <laughs> yeah <laughs> very good excellent so that's what you're going to do and then Irvin now is going to ask to me go Irvin okay have you ever traveled in a foreign country no I haven't <laughs> like sad no I haven't <laughs> Have you ever worked in a large company? Yes, I have. Uh, uh, when did you start working? I started in 2014. Uh, were you nervous when, when you were in the interview? Definitely. Very, very nervous. 100%. <laughs> And how was the experience of the first call? Actually, it was terrifying. 
uh, believe me, I really wanted to cry. And I, I was homesick. You know what is homesick? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I was homesick uh, because it was my first day as well living here in Santa Tecla. So I wanted to cry. I wanted to quit <laughs> and I wanted to leave. So it was really? Yes. It was, it was, it was, it was uh, scary. horrible. Horrible. It was horrible. It was scary. Yes, it was. <laughs> Uh, did you understand what uh, the people was asking? No. <laughs> there were like like two or three calls that I didn't know what they were saying. I'm like, oh my God, what did he say? I, I, I was very <laughs> They confused. speak too fast. They did. And as well, that they, there was uh, people that they were called, I mean, they are like Indian people and their accent. Oh, yes. It's so complicated. It's really hard. It's really hard, really hard. So I was like, <laughs> you don't catch the word. Exactly. I was like, okay, okay. Let me place you on hold. And I was like, I don't know what she said. <laughs> but did you request help? Of course I did. I did. I totally did. And then they helped me and I could finish the call. Oh, and at the end of the day, how did you feel? A tire a uh, very sad again because i'm still i was still homesick and it was terrifying it was terrifying but it's the greatest experience and the greatest decision that i have ever made in my life uh get out of my house and start working and doing my things my stuff so i don't regret at all i'm really okay. thankful that i did it <laughs> congratulations thank you thank you and good job Irvin. great okay. so that's that's what i need you to do that you go with many other questions um speaking all right we only have three minutes uh so i don't think we can make groups right now because it's gonna take a lot of time so let's do one more here in group so if we have volunteers two volunteers to make the questions, raise your hand in Zoom right now. Okay, just two. <laughs> Somebody? Anybody? Do I choose you? Okay, I see Crisia and Vanessa, they wanna do it. So let's go. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> I want to cry, teacher. No, don't cry. Don't cry. <laughs> Do you like that song? Don't cry. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course. Of course. And some roses here. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, Krisa, you start. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you ever lost your wallet? Uh, no, I haven't. Hmm? Congratulations. No, I haven't. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, do other question, Christian. <laughs> Continue with the question. Yes, um, do other. Have you ever played an instrument? Yes, I have. Which kind of instrument? Okay, which instrument did you which play? Which instrument did you play? Very good. I mm. played, um, how do you say piano? You can say piano, piano? or keyboard. Oh, okay. yeah. Piano. Okay. Mm. So I played? I played the, the piano. piano. Okay. <laughs> The piano. Okay. Another question mm. in simple fast. In simple fast. Yeah. Regarding the mm. same topic. You can say, for example, did you like it? Mm. Or where did you learn? No, oh, where did you learn? What? Where did you learn? Where? Uh, where is the place, really? Yes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. 
Um, to the, at the beginning, I played um, in a, I, I don't know. Um, how can I say? School? Not the church. Church? <laughs> no. A, a particular no. teacher. Okay. Mm. And he learned me. He teach. He taught he teach. me. He teach me. No, sorry. he taught me. Talk, in the past. Talk me. Sorry, uh, sorry. He taught me, but with the the quarantine and the COVID. Uh, you stopped. Um, the, uh, I'm stopped the the class, and only I practice. Very good, excellent, great job. Thank you, Christian and Vanessa. So uh, this is it for today. Uh, do you have a question so far? How to use them? Uh, present perfect with simple past. No. All right. So. One more time, thank you very much for being here. Uh, I really hope you have a very good night. Uh, please rest, and we're going to see you tomorrow again. All right? So thank you very much. Have a good night. Take care. See you tomorrow. Thank you, thank teacher. You. Take care. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Take care. Christian, Christian, I have a question. 